Hi everyone and welcome to today's tour on the On After School web portal hosted by Parks and Recreation Ontario. This webinar is brought to you through the On After School project led by the Leisure Information Network and supported by the Public Health Agency of Canada and the Ministry of Tourism, Culture and Sport. My name is Jennifer Peltier and I will be your technical host for today's session. Should you have any technical questions during the session, please feel free to enter them into the chat pod located to the right of your screen. I will do my best to help. So let's begin. I'd like to welcome our speaker today, Carrie Kelly. She is, the, she is with the Leisure Information Network and is the project manager for the On After School project. We are happy to have her provide us with this valuable information today, so please welcome Carrie. Hello everybody, this is Carrie Kelly. Uh, thank you all for joining uh, us today. Uh, I'm going to take you through a, a little bit of the, the reasoning why we made the web portal and also a tour of the site itself. Just before I get started, can everybody hear me? You're coming through loud and clear, Carrie. Okay, perfect. So, uh, so On After School is a online resource for people working in the after school uh, period in Ontario. And it's part of a larger um, organization, which is the Leisure Information Network. Now, some of you may know Lynn, but if you don't, I just wanted to give you a little bit of background about the organization. So Lynn is dedicated to finding ways to use online means and popular social media to get information created by people working in recreation and leisure into the hands of others working uh, and to create sort of uh, collegial networks. So since 1995, we've been collecting this information. And it all lives in a large national recreation database, which is where the information from on lives as well. Right now, we have about 17,000 records. Uh, about 65,000 users are using the site. And while it's no cost, the value of information downloaded uh, is between 3 and $4 million annually. Uh, again, though, using uh, our services uh, are no cost, and that is the case for ON as well. Um, a little bit of information on who's using the database. This is really um, a resource for people that are practitioners, for consultants, people working in the government use the site, uh, students and academics as well. Along um, the top of this slide, you'll see that we have a Northern Links website. So that's a unique site for people working in recreation in remote communities. We have our Benefits Hub, which is a place where you can find resources that talk about some of the evidence-based research that proves the health benefits of uh, positive recreation, leisure, and community programs and services. And then we have our larger Lynn site as well. So Lynn is really the umbrella home of all of our information, and it's a great resource to know about as well. Though today, I am here to talk about the On After School site. So On After School uh, is a site that was created out of uh, some great work that was done by the Canadian Active After School Partnership and the Active After School website, which again is sort of an umbrella resource uh, of policies, procedures, program success stories, uh, and information that was designed to sort of be a one-stop shop for people looking for um, after school information and support uh, across Canada. Now ON is taking that a step farther by looking with a bit of an Ontario lens uh, at very specific and practical resources along with the larger policies and procedures and grants and funding support information that can really be used right in program delivery to increase physical activity, uh, healthier eating habits, and just sort of increase capacity and community among um, participants in after school programs. Again, as mentioned by Jennifer, uh, this project was generously supported by the Public Health Agency of Canada and the Ministry of Tourism, Culture, and Sport. Uh, my contact information is going to be up at the end of the session, so if you have any more questions about any of this, you can be sure to give me um, a shout. And so ON was really made as a response to some information we'd heard through some surveys and some connections we'd done with people working in the field that they were looking for opportunities to learn from each other and connect with each other. Uh, and that can be really difficult because of time and space. So what are ways you might be able to use an online platform to share ideas, get in touch with each other, find out who else is working in this field and what they're up to? It's a space where um, there might be a way to use video and tutorials and that kind of thing to create some professional development opportunities where, again, time and funding 
uh, can make it difficult to do that uh, in, on an in-person basis. And then there was just, uh, you know, new topics are coming up all the time in terms of how we relate with ourselves, with our colleagues, with other people, um, you know, working in related sectors with students themselves. So as these new issues are coming up, whether it's inclusion or accessibility, that kind of thing, where can you turn to find out what the latest legislation is, how you can implement it, um, what other people are doing? So that's what we're trying to, uh, I guess, the itch that we're trying to scratch with on after school. So with all of that in mind, I'm going to move us on to a bit of a site tour where I'll walk you through some of the um, features of the site. So I'm just going to pop up um, a browser here so I can show you a little bit about the site. Um, for the sake of ease, I've actually um, set these tabs up. So uh, hopefully that will speed. Uh, sometimes in internet connections can slow us down a little bit. So first of all, I want to just highlight the uh, original Active After School Partnership website which is still up with its Canadian focus. Um, there are lots of great resources on this site. This site's also going to be um, undergoing some changes in the next little while as we as Lynn work with some of the other provinces to bring on resources that will enhance um, the on after school website, the larger site, and also just get us sharing outside of the province as well. So uh, active after school is a good uh, URL to keep in mind. Also, if you end up on this site and you're looking for a specific on portal with the activity database and that information, you can find it by using this green button right in the top right-hand corner. So if ever, because we're a nested site, you end up on that larger site again, that's always a way you can return to some of the services you might be looking for on the on site. So I'll just take us right to the home page. Uh, so this is the on portal that is nested within um, the CASP site. Again, if you ever wanted to get back to the large site, we also have a button that will allow you to do that. So the way the on-site works is we kind of took four pillars of information to make it easy to sort of target the information you're looking for depending on what you might be up to. So we have a section that's dedicated to planning, so information on how to plan effectively, tools to actually help you, um, you know, planning schedules, that kind of thing. There are some um, prezies and that sort of information, so you can watch presentations about how other people are doing their planning. So this is really kind of planning 101 plus downloadable sheets that can make life a little bit easier. We then have our activities database. So right now we have over 500 activities uh, in the site, and there's a search, and we'll get into showing you that a little bit. We have a section that's dedicated to training. Here you're going to find videos. Uh, ranging in length from a minute to uh, up to an hour. It might be a one-minute mentor piece of advice. It might be a panel discussion. It might be a taped webinar that you couldn't go to uh, when it was live, but you'd still want to hear that information. And then, of course, we have our resources, which is where you'll find things like policies, um, checklists, uh, templates and toolkits, job descriptions, the kind of um, sort of maintenance work of, of, of working in an after-school program. So I'm going to take us just briefly through each of these sections to show you um, how they work and what you'll find. So again, the program planning tools. This is a great place to send someone who's new to program planning or somebody that wants a refresher, where it sort of tells you what you need to do program planning right or what are the things that you should think about. There's also this great uh, link to program success stories where you can sort of see how other people are being innovated within their own programming. Um, down here you'll see there's a few um, tips that are based on the kind of activity you're looking for, descriptions of what different activities are, so what's a transition activity, what's a physical activity, that kind of thing. You're also going to find program planning. So here's where there are templates where you can actually fill in for the week or the month the activities you're going to do. It's a really great way to um, you know, ensure you've got your percentages of physical activity time and snack time and everything built in. So they're a nice, um, a nice tool that can be handy to have if you're used to doing it by hand or you'd like to remember what you did last week in, in sort of an easier format. 
And then I'm going to just move us over to the activity database. So this so far has been a bit of a jewel in our website. It's where a lot of people are going. It is just a great collection of activities uh, that um, have been given to us by organizations like OFIA and CIRA, also from people working in um, after school programs themselves. So there's a really nice variety of things. You can search this by keyword if you've got an idea in mind. If you're browsing by the, the age of kids you're working with or you're looking, you know you need a, uh, some new transition activities to get people sort of moving from one way to another. Uh, you were playing outside and it's pouring rain and now you need to find something you can do in a gym quite quickly. Uh, or you have more kids than you were expecting or less. So those are just sort of ways that you can navigate um, these 500 activities we have. You can see in their display right up top, it'll kind of tell you how long it takes, who it's appropriate for, uh, and where you can play it. So that's kind of handy even as you're doing your browsing. If you've selected one of the activities, what you'll then get is the title. Very uh, quick reminder of what kind of um, general information, so who's it for, how long is it going to take. We've started to do a real focus on the objective or the fundamental skill that you'll learn because we know that's becoming really important to people within their programs. The equipment that you'd need in the setup to see if you have the ability to do it before you get too far down the path in getting it set up. And then there's step-by-step -step instructions, information on how you can change it up. This might be done just to make it more interesting. Sometimes the variations look at ways uh, you can make it more inclusive depending on who's in your program. We also keep an eye towards safety considerations. And all of the activities in our database have gone through a bit of a review process where we came up with sort of 10 steps, and you'll find these in the program planning sections. So 10 considerations when picking a solid activity. And these um, 10 considerations have been applied to everything that's in, currently in our activity database. Now, as I've said, we keep um, growing this database with the help of people who are actually working in after school programs, which is great. And that's something that um, we want to keep doing and encouraging people to do. So I'll actually pop us here for a second. You can yourself add an activity into our site. It's quite simple. Just down the side nav, you'll see Add My Activity. All we really need to get going is the activity name, the kind of activity it is, the age group, and who it's, uh, who it's set for. So you can see these are the things you can check off quite easily. And then um, you can fill in to the extent that you, you know how to do the activity. If you uh, aren't quite sure, you just want to let us know that it exists but want some help from us in how um, to get it fitting into this template, you can contact us. Um, we'll certainly get in touch with you and find any way we can to make it easy for you to use the site. We want to let you know that our chicken um, campaign is still going. So one of the things that we're doing to encourage people to share with us and to think about um, you know, how adding your own creative spin to activities can really make um, the wealth of the database. Uh, you can um, share an activity or also a training tool if you've done a great video or you've done some training that you filmed or if you have a policy or procedure that you've worked on and you're really proud of or you have a bit of a mandate to share. Sharing any of those resources with the website will get you a free chicken for your after school program. So that is still a campaign that's alive and well. And we, uh, if that encourages you, please feel free to share. I'm just going to go back quickly to this section here, which is um, every month we send out two newsletters, sort of every two weeks, based on a theme. So if you come to our website, you can find the activity mixes. So depending on the theme that we've had, we look into the database ourselves to find activities that are appropriate and match up to kind of make it easy for you to add a little bit of uh, thematic fun to your program. Uh, though if coming to the website isn't always so easy for you, you'll see just in this section here that um, you can subscribe to our newsletter and you can have this kind of information, so the activity mix that we've done every two weeks sent to your inbox. We also highlight training that's new on the site and resources of interest. So that's something you might be interested in if getting to the website isn't necessarily something you think you can do all the time, but uh, you would like to know what's happening and what's new and what's coming onto the site. 
So now I'm just going to pop us over to the next section, which is training. So just to show you, training again is something that you can search if there's a topic you're interested in to see what might come up. You'll see right away the, the way our listings show up is uh, if there's video, you'll see that there is a little bit of a write-up about what it's about and the length of it. So you know, if you've got a few minutes, if this is a lunch and learn for you, or you'd like a few people to sit around the computer together, if you don't have very long, maybe you'd like it to be a little bit, uh, a little bit shorter. And then clicking on any of these resources will bring up, again, just a bit more information. So this is a great um, video that we've done. And I should mention right now and give a big thank you to Pro because they've partnered with us. So Pro has provided us with some really great online training that addressed some of the gaps that people working in after school programs had said that they'd found in training and, and trying to find information on how to um, in, you know, improve programming. So this would be one where we actually have students um, acting out some of the activities so you can really see for yourself how it lays out, how it plays out in the gym. And at the bottom here, you'll see that links to the actual activities are right there. So you can go right and find the information yourself. So you can watch how it's done, print it off, and you're good to go. So uh, we have about 40 um, modules on the site right now with more coming from Pro, so that's exciting. So this is a really great place to stay tuned into. Though again, if you subscribe to our newsletter, you will find out what's new um, because we post it whenever something new comes up. And then um, 20 minutes goes quite quickly when you're talking about uh, the wealth of information we have in the site like on after school. So just again remind you, we have tons of resources on the site and it might be anything from um, somebody's annual report, um, the Active Healthy Kids report card, transition games, um, you know, report statistics, facts, funding examples, job descriptions, that kind of thing. So, if you're trying to write a report or you've got uh, a bunch of kids going on a bus trip and you forgot to print the waiver, here's a place where you can go and find that kind of information. And um, then finally, uh, I want to leave a couple of minutes for questions. So I just want to talk briefly about some of the things that we have coming up for on in the next year. So on top of these sections, things that we'll be adding to the site include uh, a recipe a collection, so a place where we'll actually give you some great snack ideas, and those might be thematic again, and they're you know a gluten-free collection, or um, you know low sugar, high fiber collections, and that's something that we're not only offering. We'd love to hear what you're doing for snacks in your programs. So that's another way you can share with the site, and then we'll just create some recipe cards so it can be really easy for you to uh, jazz up snack time. I will be doing something with some of the sports to look at uh, call, call, sort of a, uh, a coaching corner where you'll be able to um, see how you can integrate um, maybe some of the fundamental movement skills used in sports and sort of have a, a bit of a sports theme. So we'll have some coaches sort of talking about how you can bring their sports into your after school program. And this is a very sneak peek on something that's launching later in the month, which is our French um, version of the site. So this isn't live yet, and we still have to go through and do our final eyeballs. Uh, but just wanted to let you know that we'll be launching a French um, section of the site that focuses on the planning, the activities, and the resources right now. We're going to work on trying to get some training. But here you're going to find our activities have been translated. Uh, these are French language resources, and our whole planning section, uh, again, with the, the downloadable worksheets and things, have all been translated. And this is just a start uh, and just a way to acknowledge that you know, we're a bilingual province and we really want to be able to provide that bilingual support. So I am now going to um, have Jennifer just pass us back to the oh, – stop sharing, there we go – back to the site tour. And then just quickly, I just want to uh, say if you have any questions about what's happened today, um, please give me a call or send me an email. Uh, you can find us on Facebook or Twitter. Uh, you'll also find if you uh, like social media but you don't have access through your programs, on our homepage we keep a, a social media feed of everything we're posting. So it's one place where you can go and see what's new that we've added to Pinterest or Facebook or Twitter if maybe uh, in your organization you can't access those through work. And I hope this makes it uh, a little easier to be using the site and that you'll stay tuned for some of the cool um, enhancements that we've got planned in the next few months.
thanks so much, kerri.